Mm-hmm. Now we're getting to the good stuff. S the Walking Dead Season 5. So Season 5 is my second favorite season of The Walking Dead, mostly because it focuses on the group and not that loop storytelling that I got tired of watching in Season 4. Man, I really hope that loop storytelling doesn't come back, case in point. But anyway... The season 5 starts off with Rick Grimes and his group. They have been captured by the people of Terminus. The whole Terminus storyline was, in my opinion, a lot bigger than what it was supposed to be. In the comic books, it was a very short moment, but it shows how serious Rick and his group is. And this season go this season is what I like about this season is that they go from is that they go from living in the prison to going back to survival. And some of those survival instincts that they have gained all the years have kind of faded into the background, so it's a really a relearning situation. But it doesn't change the fact that there are still some shocking deaths in this season, and a lot of them were characters that that we grew to love. But eventually, but eventually, we head to the whole the one spot that that we have been searching for this entire time. In in this one, they expand a little bit more on the Abraham storyline. Abraham is a man that shows up that shows up in a big monster monster truck and he's riding riding with a scientist named Eugene. Eugene saying that he works with top class scientists to finally find a cure to end the apocalypse once and for all. And they are heading to DC. So we go from Georgia all the way to DC where we head to a town called Alexandria. Now Alexandria in in my mind I love that the fact that they kept this in the TV show because in the comic books it really felt it really felt different. It felt like something good has happened for Rick. I mean, in the comic books, when they are heading towards Alexandria, of course when they meet the people of Alexandria, they don't trust them immediately. I mean, you ran into the people of Terminus, and you ran into the governor. There are not a lot of friendly people out there, so when someone walks up to them with a big smile on his face, of course they don't, of course they don't trust the guy at all. But one thing I really loved about the comic books is that when they enter Alexandria for the very first time, there's only one picture of Rick's face, and he just has a look of hope on his face. And they kept it in the TV show, so I thought that was, I thought that was really cool. So the city of Alexandria was was built at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. So everybody who lives in this town have no experience in survival or even taken or even taken down walkers. And and Rick and Rick and his group, even though even though they feel like they're in a safe place, this. This season really point. This season really points out that even though they are in a safe place, Rick doesn't want to get rid of that survival instinct because they were in a safe place before. Then they got back into the wild, and bad things happened. So it's really good to keep those survival instincts intact. So it, this is this is the moments where you finally see the humanity coming back into Rick Grimes, but not all of his humanity is going to return. He's still going to be shallow. He's still going to have his bad moments. I mean, this is the zombie apocalypse. It changes you as a human being. And the fact that he talks to other people of Ter of Alexandria, I was about to say Terminus, it's Alexandria. The fact that they talk normally, they they sound like they sound like normal people who have never even experienced the outside world. It's really it's really a strange it's really a strange yet fun way to build on this world. And another thing that I've loved that they kept in when it comes to Alexandria was when Rick Grimes finally shaved off the Mountain Man beard. The Mountain Man beard was was basically an icon in The Walking Dead when when the show was at its height. And and basically when Andrew Lincoln started growing out his beard, everyone started growing out their hair. Carl grew out his hair, Daryl grew out his hair. So so as they look like that they've been surviving in the apocalypse. But when he gets to Alexandria, he finally shaves the beard off for the first time. He gets a haircut, and whenever he goes outside, and in the comic books, when he goes outside, he looks like a different person after he's been cleaned up. Everyone's commenting him, saying he looks good. And the show is no different. As soon as, as, soon as he walks out and with no hair on his face, everyone's like, Wow, you look good, man. You kind of for, you kind of forget that there was a time when Rick Grimes used to look like a normal human being and not the so-called thin, hair-covered survivor that he that we grew to know him in the past couple of seasons. So the fact that they keep a lot of details from the comic books into the TV show, I absolutely enjoy. But there are some moments in Alexandria where Rick can't really handle can't really handle the normal life or even the cover-ups that that some characters that some characters have like for example there's this husband that abuses his wife and wife and children and 
no one says anything about it because he's a doctor. So there is so there is still that little bit of corruption in there and that causes problems when when Rick finally gets involved. I'm not going to spoil any details about that because to be told it was played out very well. And those are and those are some of the moments that I remember the most out of season 5. It's basically the tiny details from the comic books actually being in the show that I really did enjoy. And there were so many moments like that in season 5. And like I said, season 5 is my second favorite season of The Walking Dead, even though even though it's even though it still has a couple of issues, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a warning right now. Even when I get to my favorite season of The Walking Dead, I'm not just going to give it a legendary status because of that because it falls it falls into some issues. But there are some moments in these seasons that I enjoy more than anything else and that's why this season is my second favorite season and I'll get to my favorite season in a little bit. So I got to say season 5 of The Walking Dead a uh, uh, it's better. It's better than season four, most definitely. And for me, I enjoy it a whole lot more than watching season three. So, that's saying something. And season and season five of The Walking Dead has more connections to the comic books that that really gets the excitement out of me. So I gotta say, season five of The Walking Dead is legendary. So guys, season five of The Walking Dead, have you seen it? What did you think of it? If you if this is one of your favorite seasons, let me know. If it's just one of those moments where where you're thinking, okay, The Walking Dead is starting to lose gravel for me. Well, comment that down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.